Hi Internet, this is Stuart Gorski with the Gardena Disaster Communication Service. I'm doing another uh, 20 amp hour battery review slash test. This one is the Chins battery. Got it off Amazon for a little over $70. It is a uh, LiPo 4 battery, 20 amp hour, and it is 256 watts. I'm comparing this to the um, Ecoworthy, which you uh, probably have seen in a previous test. Um, I can tell you right ahead, this performed a little bit better, but we're going to need to uh, go through the video and show you exactly why I say that. So, again, this is the Chins 20 amp hour, 256 watt hour LiPo 4 uh, lithium battery. Hi, everybody. I am testing my new Chins 20 amp hour uh, LiPo 4 battery. I just took it off the charger. Uh, it's resting at 13.73 uh, volts. And I'm going to turn on my uh, fan, which is going to draw about 3.5 amps. And we're going to do this uh, test, see how long it runs, and see how many uh, amp hours it actually produces. So let's go turn on the fan. Power one, two, and high power. It's on three. My endless breeze, the endless breeze fan running the load. So it's drawing 3.40 amps at 13.3736 volts and uh, let's see how long it runs so we'll come back later and see uh, what the status is okay so it's been about five and a half hours and we're down to 12.72 volts uh, we're running at uh, just about three amps draw from the uh, the fan as we when we started it was drawing uh, three and a half amps but the voltage was higher so as the voltage goes down the amp draw is a little bit less we are at uh, let me see the watt hours are 165 watt hours and the amp hours are 14 uh, about 14 and a half amp hours so five and a half hours into the test let's discuss the size and shape of the batteries. The Chins is much taller. It is. Also, it looks like it's a little thinner. Okay. Weight is about the same. So now, look at, let's look at the studs, the lugs here, okay? You have little uh, gaps in here, which actually make it better if you're putting your stud this way, okay? But I don't like it because when it's sticking out, sometimes it puts too much stress on the cord and the connection. So I don't like doing that. So what I did was I put, I've got good strong lugs. I put them facing this way. I could bend up the lug a little bit. It does not hurt in anything. And of course I can draw it out this way. On the chins, you can see uh, I have them facing in. They're really made, I think, to go out this way, but I don't want them sticking out like that. They can get snagged and stuff like that. So I've used some, uh, I think this is eight gauge silicon wire, very good wire. And as you can see, I've, I maneuver them this way and it's sticking out here just a little bit. There's a little bit more stress here, but I put a lot of the double-sided, uh, what do you call it, the tape in there so this is very strong it's actually called shrink wrap of course you guys know that i just go a little blank sometimes so we've got good strong shrink wrap there is no stress on the connections on this last battery another eco worthy what i did was i used some very flexible uh this is actually speaker cord which I don't really love using, but it does take 25 amps, no problem. So technically it's just fine. It's just, I don't know. I would prefer it was the silicone or something, but this stuff is a lot harder to maneuver. So that's what we have here. Uh, two different ways of hooking up the Eco Worthies. This is a more 10 gauge automotive uh, 
power cable. This works terrific, it'll hold high amps, no problem. But again, you're only supposed to draw like 25, uh, max maybe 30 amps from these units. So this is well within specifications. So when you are gonna put this in a, say a go bag or something like that, uh, in, this, in my case, it would be a Pelican box. And Pelican boxes are like suitcases, and then of course they open up. Um, in a Pelican box of the size that I use, um, this would fit in there really good and you could even have two of them and you can close the lid it will be no problems whatsoever this chins is a much taller battery in that same situation it's not going to work as well unless you lay it flat and we all know that we can lay these flat um, but I'm thinking this is going to take up a little more real estate uh, in the flat mode so I guess in a small Pelican type briefcase kind of thing, this is what I would be using. But I mean, you can use this, but uh, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. So the configuration of where the studs are at, how you would mount them in a small case. If you had a much taller uh, Pelican case, um, I have no problem with this. This is a great battery. It's just after eight o'clock here in Southern California. The test has been going on for six and a half hours. At the same time with the EcoWorthy, the uh, EcoWorthy would have been shutting down about now. The Chins is starting to outperform the EcoWorthy. Uh, we're at 11.89 volts. This is where the voltage actually starts going a little bit quicker downwards at a quicker pace. Uh, we are at uh, two point, uh, well, still right around three amps going there. Uh, the uh, watt hours are 208 and the amp hours are over 18. So the uh, EcoWorthy only did around 17 and a half uh, amp hours. So at this point, the Chins is outperforming the EcoWorthy battery. So let's uh, see how far this uh, battery can go. It's 8.16 p.m. and we're now under 11 volts, 10.93, 10.91. The amp hours is 18.7, watt hours is 212. It's going to be dying fairly soon. We're gonna get the low voltage cut off. Yep, 18 amp hours and uh, 212 watt hours. This is reasonably better than the EcoWorthy battery, 20 amp hour battery. And we, uh, oh, there you go, it just went out. Which battery do I prefer? Both batteries are pretty darn close. They perform really close to one another. Uh, there are other things you could look at, like the case. This case uh, for the chins. Um, it needs to be laid down on its side, but so if you're taking this in a small pelican size uh, suitcase and you take it to somewhere to want to deploy, you would probably want to take it out and put it on the table, put it on the floor, uh, and run it that way. The EcoWorthy, uh, the way the case is laid out, it'll fit and stay in that case and you can run it while uh, still sitting uh, in the case. It's a little more con convenient that way. Uh, both batteries have about a 25 amp uh, limit on draw, at least that's what the manual will say. And uh, they're, they're both 20 amp hours, but the Chin's got 18, uh, almost 18 and a half amp hours on my uh, informal testing. And the, uh, the EcoWorthy got around 17 and a half. So the, the extra amp, amp hour um, does it really mean anything well yes it can if you're in an emergency situation and you need to get out that one last uh, transmission or the second or third transmission that obviously would make a big difference but is that really going to happen in real life i guess it's possible so chins or eco worthy i guess i would pick the chins the bms on this thing is just like the sok batteries that i use uh, for my solar for running my washer my dryer and for my microwave this behaves the bms and the chins behaves a lot like the uh 
uh, the BMS in the bigger uh, SOK batteries. So I guess I would prefer the chins, but you know what? In real life, I think you're going to have no problem with either battery. Uh, the price on this is around seventy some dollars. You can get the Eco Worthy for right around seventy dollars now, and uh, it's your call. You'd make the decision. Let me know in the comments which battery you chose.